All right, we're almost done with complex numbers, at least for talking about the main four mathematical operators on them. We want to talk about dividing complex numbers. So for the most part, there's nothing too crazy going on. So if I take something like 14i divided by 2, I hope we can very quickly see that it's like seeing 14x divided by 2. 14 divided by 2 is just 7. i is in the numerator, and so in the numerator it stays. And, and that's it. Nothing too crazy about that one. Or this guy. If I take 20i over 5i. Well, one of the things we need to notice here is that you have a factor of i in both the numerator and denominator, so these guys can reduce away. It's just like having x over x. That reduces to 1. The i's reduce to give you a factor of 1 and you're left with 20 over 5, and we just get 4. Nothing too out of the ordinary, right? It's the next guy that gets kind of weird. If I take 35 divided by 7i, see now we have a problem because i is in the denominator, and unlike the last example, there's nothing in the numerator for it to reduce with. And you're not supposed to leave anything imaginary in your numerator. So we just do a slight little correction here. So what we do is we multiply both the numerator and denominator times a factor of i. And you may be saying, that, that's dumb, it's just making it worse. Well, let's see what happens here. In the numerator, we get 35i. So yeah, it made the numerator worse. But look what happens in the denominator. In this denominator, 7i times i is 7i squared. And we just saw what happens when you have an i squared factor. That's going to change the sign here to make this negative 7. So I really have 35i over negative 7. And now I can finish this off. 35 divided by negative 7 is negative 5. And that i is in the numerator now. And so that, to me, is the best way for simplifying these guys. You might see other ways that might make it a little bit more complicated, but for something simple like this, when you're just dividing by a single term, that's really the easiest way to do that. Now, let's take a look at things a little bit more complicated. If I take 15 plus 25i, all divided by 5. One of the properties that we have with fractions is that we can separate into smaller pieces as long as my denominator is just a single term, which this guy is. So this is my denominator for both of the pieces in the numerator. So we separate this so that we understand this is 15 over 5 plus 25i over 5. So you separate so that you can simplify. 15 over 5 is 3, and 25 over 5 is 5. Don't forget about the i here. So it's 3 plus 5i. Nothing left in the denominators because it's simplified away. And notice how my answer here is written in standard form. Real followed by, comp uh, followed by the imaginary part. All right. Let's do 24 minus 16i divided by 6i. Now before you go and you do something that's inappropriate, please make sure you understand that that denominator of 6i is the denominator for both 24 and 16i. So if you get this crazy idea to reduce the i's away, you're going to be in trouble. Because it just doesn't work that way. You cross that out, then all of a sudden it's not 24 divided by 6i anymore. You've changed its denominator. So to avoid issues like that, separate like we did in the last problem. So 24 over 6i minus 16i over 6i. So in this case, you've got two small fractions very similar to the first round that we did. The second one, my eyes are instantly drawn to it because here I can reduce away those eyes now that it's its own separate fraction. This one, though, 
is just like the one we did a moment ago up here, where I needed to put in that missing factor of i so that I get a real number for the denominator. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator times i. Let's see what we get. All right, so this is 24i. Now think about what's going to happen here. If you need to write that out off to the side, please do so. So this is 20, uh, 6i times i. That gives me 6i squared, which becomes negative 6 once I make that conversion from i squared back to the, the negative factor. So this is 24i over negative 6. And this is still minus 16 over 6. Now keep in mind that we're supposed to write our answers real part first. So this is my real part. So I'm going to write this one in the front. And I'm going to simplify. So negative 16 over 6, there's a common factor in both the numerator and denominator of 2. So this becomes negative 8 thirds. And then here, so this piece is going to go here. 24 over negative 6 is minus 4, and then you've got the i. And there you have it. So as long as your denominator is a single piece, we're going to be okay. But in the next video, we're going to examine what happens when the denominator is made up of two pieces, made up of a real part and an imaginary part. The hint, complex conjugates.